Welcome back everybody, my name is Taylor Martin and today I wanted to do something a little bit different. It's something that I've wanted to do since I started the channel, but I just never felt like the right time because, well, frankly, it's kind of a weird idea. But I have seen a bunch of videos like this on YouTube, people seem to love it. It's something I've always wanted to take a crack at and that is an urban survival tin. So not necessarily EDC, not necessarily survival, but somewhere in the middle, useful tools in an Altoids size tin that you throw in like a backpack or you throw in your center console in your truck. Certainly you could carry this every day. I mean, it, it does fit in my pocket. It's actually not uncomfortable there. Like if I were going out for a very long time, maybe I could take something like this with me. Is it convenient or practical for everyday carry? Not exactly. It's not meant to be taken super seriously. This is just a thought experiment. I just wanted to actually take the stuff that I already had and put into a tin and see what I could come up with. So this is that and let's do the damn thing. One thing I do want to make clear is that I did have all of this stuff on hand except for three items. One I already had. I had an Altoids tin and I actually had a tin from a key bar that I bought. I saw this Topo tin on County Com and I kind of had to have that. And there are two other items inside here that I purchased. But the rest of the stuff I already had or had been sent to me. And uh, actually one of the items that's in here kind of sparked this whole idea. But I'll tell you about that when we get there. First things first. This little thing, I actually made this in the $100 Walmart budget carry. This is just a little wallet, technically. Just a little elastic band that's about the size of a card, and it'll hold your cards together. You make this by just taking some elastic band and some super glue and pressing it together, and it actually chemically bonds. It, it melts the elastic together. This holds itself together. It's, it stays closed on its own, but this just helps it stay closed a little better. And if we pop open the lid, I've got a microfiber cloth inside here. This came with a leather watch strap. I don't know why. And then let's just kind of go through what we got here. And this is the Lever Gear cable kit. It's just a ribbon lightning cable. That's really it, about an inch and a half, maybe two inches long. And it also has an adapter, which is lightning to USB-C. Most of the devices I use these days are lightning or USB-C. I do have several micro USB accessories and, and devices like my camera still have it. But for the most part, stuff I need day to day is usually USB-C or lightning. Next thing, this is actually one of the other items I purchased. This is the EDC key from County Com, and it's just a screwdriver. So if you take this off, that is just a thumb screw and this is just a bit extender, a quarter inch bit extender. And this is just a micro quarter inch bit. Uh, I've never really seen one like this, but it's Phillips head and flat head and it's just extra small. So you could extend this further if you wanted, uh, but it's technically just a bit extender. And with this key on here, it gives you enough grip or torque to actually turn a screw with your hand instead of having a full on screwdriver. So really compact, cool little tool. In a recent video, I reacted to my very first EDC video ever and I included this. This is the True Utility Cast Dash. As you can see, it's seen better days. I've used the absolute crap out of this thing. Basically, I have stopped carrying cash in it and I instead have medicine. So I have two allergy pills in here and a 800 milligram shot of ibuprofen and that's all that's in here. So if I get a headache, I have enough to deal with one headache or two days of allergies in this little pill container. Uh, I know it's probably not food grade. Oh well. The thing next to that is Olight i1R EOS. This is not the i1R2. Yes, of course the cap still screws off, but the reason I went with this is because it is ever so slightly shorter than the i1R2. I do have a spare i1R2 EOS, but at one iteration, I've packed this thing and unpacked it and repacked it and unpacked it and repacked it and swapped things out probably at least a hundred times now. And at one point, the i1R2 did not fit and the i1R did. So I ended up just sticking with that one. I did go through a, d a couple of different flashlights as well. I went with the i3E EOS, which was a little bit longer. And then now it doesn't fit in this configuration. I also went with the Meritac Peanut flashlight and I wanted the new version of it, the second version of it, because it didn't have that little uh, recharge module that had to go on there and I have that one still. I have that tiny itty bitty little flashlight and I was going to throw that in there with a spare battery. I lost my spare batteries. I had 10 of them. I don't know where they are and you have to have the charging module for the first one so the second version of that peanut flashlight would have been perfect but I can't find it anywhere. I looked for it. Can't find it anywhere. And then also in here we have a pair of fingernail clippers. These are monkeys. I've talked about them before. Super compact. I like them. 
they get the job done about 10, 12 bucks, I believe it is. Really nice little fingernail clippers. And I, I tend to need them from time to time, not always just for fingernails, but for other things. I also have this. This is a new utility knife. This is the Resolute X1. I talked about this in one of my recent videos when I unboxed my new PC. This is just a brand new utility knife, two parts. That's all there is to it. You have your blade, but then you have this titanium frame and this bronze slider. It's super easy. It's just press this forward and back. Very easy to actuate. I, I really like it and it has an integrated clip. Um, very, very slim and compact. I originally had this in there instead, and this is the back knife. I talked about these a long time ago, but it's just a plastic holder with a ceramic blade in it. And the reason I just decided not to go with this is this is just not super secure. The blade doesn't really come out much. It stays in there pretty well, but this is just a piece of plastic and this is much more rigid. This is a little more versatile, I guess, but this is something I would rely on a little more than this. So we have the Resolute X1 in here. And because of that, over here, which you probably can't see. I also have spare blades. So I have two more Tajima blades and then I have this camp fork safe insert from Big A Day Design. One thing I've recently learned is that insert does not fit in the Resolute X1. So most likely if I were to redo this, I would swap that out for another Tajima blade. I also have in here, Uncle Bill's sliver grippers. I recently called these silver grippers. It was a typo. I was doing an ad read and I typed silver instead of sliver and I just read it and everybody let me know that I was mispronouncing it. It was sliver grippers, not silver grippers. Just really cheap, really affordable keychain tweezers. I've gotten rid of the keychain thing just for space saving. Really simple little affordable tweezers. Nested inside those tweezers, I have this. And this is, I think, what originally sparked the idea for this video. This is a titaner EDC scalpel. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it exists. I don't know why. I, I just, I just don't know. But this whole thing made me think, like, why would I ever need this? What would this be for? And then I was like, only thing I can think of is an urban survival kit. And then that's the idea was born. So I did this because this thing was sent to me. Um, I don't know of any other reason I would even use this or have this. I don't even know why I would use it in here. I would much rather just have a utility knife because these blades you can buy anywhere. Whereas uh, scalpel blades, I don't know anything about scalpel blades, but regardless, there's a titanium scalpel. And then these little things right here, these are replacement blades. So sterile surgical steel scalpel blades. This is probably what most of you will call the most redundant and useless thing in here, but I disagree. I have six heavy duty needles and four SIM removal tools and four spare O-rings. So some of the EDC gear I carry sometimes has these little O-rings on here. SIM removal tools, obviously you use those to remove the SIM card from your phone. I use them also for different things, pushing pins, adjusting a fine tune adjustment clasp on a bracelet for a watch. I use them for a lot of different things. And the reason I have four is they tend to break when they're used for really literally anything other than pushing a SIM pin. They're, they're not very durable. They're very soft. They're very cheap. Um, and then I have these heavy duty needles because when something's a little bit larger and you can't push hard enough with one of these, these are really nice to have. They're good for just pushing poking things where my fingers don't fit. This is the only other thing in this whole tin that I bought that I didn't already have. And this is the Keysmart Nano Pin. This doesn't magnetize like a tech liner does. Um, so the cap is magnetized, but the tail is not. This is just a tiny, tiny, tiny little pin. It uses uh, a pretty standard refill as well. You can buy these refills pretty easily. Just a, a neat little affordable pin that just stows away very, very small. I had a Fisher Space pin in here originally, and then I switched to a Polka pin, but this is just much smaller. I think it was like $9, so it didn't cost a whole lot, and very, very tiny pin. The multi-tool I've gone back and forth on. I had a Victorinox Mini Champ Alox in here, I had just a classic SD in here and then I went to a Leatherman Micro because the big scissors and then you've got a pretty pretty okay set of tools. You got a tiny knife which I don't really need. I have a nail cleaner, nail file, flathead. On this side you have a small flathead, a bottle opener. You also have a Phillips head screwdriver and then some really crappy tweezers. These tweezers really are not great. But I've gone back and forth between the Leatherman Micra and the Leatherman Squirt PS4. The tool set on the Squirt PS4 is just much better. I tend to carry this one daily. I don't EDC this one ever really anymore. Um, you have all the same things on this one, except you also have spring-loaded pliers. So you do still have your, your scissors, but you get those pliers as well. So 
I like the tool set on this one a little better. Maybe I'll buy another Squirt PS4 and throw it in here. I don't know. I didn't want to buy a whole lot for this Survival 10 because I don't know if I'm actually ever going to use it. But this fits in here just fine. This fits about the same because this extended part on the pivot, the hinges for the Leatherman Micra are just a little longer. It just sits in the tin about the same as the Squirt, but the Squirt is a little, a little thicker. Um, there are trade-offs in their sizes. The Micra is a fine tool, but... It's, it'd be nice to have pliers on it. I also have this, which in an urban survival tin, I don't know that I necessarily need. This is a ferro rod, just a very tiny ferro rod. And you might think you can't throw sparks with that, but au contraire, I absolutely can. I'm gonna do it with this dangerous scalpel on the backside of the scalpel um, and try not to cut myself, but you can uh, certainly throw sparks with this ferro rod and a scalpel. Probably not advised, but uh, what I end up cutting my hand open. Do I need a ferro rod in this thing? Maybe not, probably not, but it kind of just disappears in the tin. And then on the very bottom, I got just small things. So I have two alcohol prep pads, which is just mainly for first aid, cleaning things off, sanitizing, whatever. Uh, I have four assorted band-aids. So I have two larger bandages and two smaller bandages, just standard, nothing special to them. I have four toothpicks in the bottom of here because you never know when you're going to need a toothpick. Had I gone with a Swiss Army knife, but I had a built-in toothpick in plastic. I actually meant to buy spare toothpicks from a Swiss Army knife and just throw one of those in there or get a titanium toothpick. But again, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money, so I just used some wooden toothpicks. Maybe if I do this in the future, I will go with something else. I could also use one of these needles as a toothpick technically. And then the very last item in the tin is a micro SD card in 64 gigabytes with an SD card reader. And the reason I went with this, originally I had a flash drive, like a tiny little SanDisk flash drive in here, but I ended up going with this only because having portable storage is, is very handy, um, even though not everything can read a micro SD or an SD card. I have things that will. So I have adapters and other things that I always have around where I can you know, use this as a, a mass storage device. But there you have it. This is what I have in my urban survival kit. Could I do better? Probably. You should tell me in the comments below what you would do differently than what I've done or what I've included or what I've forgotten and overlooked. Um, definitely titanium toothpick is something I would do if I were to do this again. If I were to get rid of anything, it'd probably be the scalpel. Again, it's not meant to be super serious. It's just this is stuff that I could throw in this tin, it all fits and nests very, very well, and it would go in the center console of my truck. So to pack this thing back up, after you learn the uh, order of operations, I guess, it goes together a lot easier. Toothpicks go in first, kind of smush them up against the bottom side there, then our band-aids and all of the flat items go in the very, very bottom. So these scalpel blades kind of go right here. We also need to put these in before we get too far along, which is the replacement uh, utility knife blades. Then our alcohol prep pads, and then we're going to go with the Leatherman Micro up here, which kind of helps hold those in place. Then we're going to go with the pin because it's got a magnetized cap. And you can push it down and it just kind of holds everything right there. You put the SD card right here, then we're going to go with the Resolute making sure that it's oriented in that direction because the monkeys nests perfectly right there. And we have the cash stash. Actually, we need to put the needles and SIM tools right here. The cash stash just kind of floats right there as well as the Olight. Scalpel nests inside the sliver grippers and goes right here. Ferro rod just kind of lives in the corner over there. The screwdriver goes here. This is the last piece to go in. You just kind of have to make sure that everything is sitting properly. This isn't one of those that fits perfectly every time. You just kind of have to know where the piece goes and, and try to make it fit. And then once it does, it closes just fine. Put the band over it just to make sure it stays that way. And that is my EDC Urban Survival Kit. I guess that's what we're gonna call it, I don't know. Um, tell me what you think. If you would do something a little differently than what I did, what would you add? What would you remove? 
again, I'd probably take the scalpel out <laughs> because I, I don't know. It just, that's what started this whole thing. So I wanted to include it, I guess. That's going to do it. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. All of this stuff will be linked down below if you purchased anything using those links. Those are affiliate links. So I get a little bit of a kickback, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. You can also go to patreon.com forward slash best MADC or carry commission, which is my store. Where you can buy merch and gear directly from me. Uh, be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at best MADC. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. There's also now a Discord server. A Facebook group request to access to join those all down below. Uh, but with all that said, and until next time, carry on.